Resilience, the ability to recover from or adjust easily to misfortune or change. You gotta have it, it's gonna happen, but man, we gotta excel in it. The cracks of living life, playing in the NFL, fill them with gold, man. It's week number 10 of this NFL season and time for another edition of the Mike McCarthy Show powered by Reliant Energy inside the Globe Life Studios here at the Star in Frisco. Bill Jones alongside Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy. It's the Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers at Lambeau Field. Coach, you know a little bit about the Lambeau Field and those Green Bay Packers. I've been there once or twice. Yes, yes. He, Mike McCarthy knows the way to Lambeau Field. In fact, you could take Mike McCarthy way to Lambeau Field. Are you going to do that on on Sunday? Uh, I'm, I'm going to get on the bus like everybody else, Bill. And, and <laughs> Whatever the bus driver is. visitor's locker room and let's go win there, the game. There you that's, go. that's really what I'm thinking. Uh, how, how special is this? You get back to work this week, and uh, this is a marquee matchup around the league, but I know this week you are focused on your team and getting this team to continue what it's done here in the first half of the season. Oh, definitely. I, I think it's just like anything. You just got to stay stay on top of the, of the little things. You know, if you look at the bye week going into the bye week, you know, uh, teams going into the bye week, there's only win 54% of the time. So, uh, and it gets worse coming out of the bye week. You know, the, really the stats are 52% of the time. So my point is, I, I think it's real important. Uh, and you can see in the Thursday's practice, you know, we had some wind out there and, you know, your operation slows down a little bit. So all those things, all those little things add up. So, um, you know, you, you want to make sure you get the team practicing the, the right way to get, you know, the mind speed cranked up and, and, get, and get, get on top of the fundamentals, go a little faster, a little harder. Uh, so because, you know, we were playing very good football, obviously coming 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 out of the Chicago game, uh, and it's important for us to go up there and play our best game. When you were coaching at Green Bay, did you feel like you had a home field advantage at Lambeau Field? And now being on the other side, how do you combat that? Uh, definitely. I mean, it's, uh, you know, I, I think every team feels that way, and it's no different up there, particularly this time of year. I mean, when the – when the weather changes, you know, you're, you're practicing it and so forth. We're fortunate. Uh, you know, our Saturday forecast here matches the Sunday forecast up there. I don't know how many times that'll happen here, but uh, I think it, it's good. You know, in Wednesdays and Thursdays, practice is very windy here, and we practice outside. I thought the quarterbacks did a great job spinning the ball, and, and those, those are the those are the things you, you, you know, you need to practice those, you know, you know, in those environments, you know, no different than, you know, the wet ball drills for rain games and things like that. So uh, I feel very confident in our preparation that we were able to practice in the weather uh, that, that we need to going up to Green Bay. You know, uh, so many memorable games in this series, and one of them, the last time the Cowboys went to Green Bay, Dak Prescott's rookie season, it was a Cowboys win. And I wonder, what were your thoughts when you saw Dak Prescott on the other side, his, his rookie season? Uh, I'm very impressed. You know, um, I think Dak coming into the game and throwing an interception. So, uh, you know, obviously him and Zeke were – were extremely impressive, you know, as far as being rookies. I remember Zeke running down the sideline for too many yards on that, that on that day. It was 158, yeah, but it was 158. Guy. So I knew it was a lot, <laughs> but just uh, just how impressed I was with you know with him also too. So uh, you know that was that was a great win for the Cowboys. I mean, they uh, definitely were the, the better team that day, and and I, I was real impressed with their size and their physicality and. You know, they had, they had a lot of good things going for them. All right, so what, what are you up against with this Green Bay defense this week? They're second in the league as far as their pass defense. Jair Alexander has three picks. Yeah, they're very talented. Uh, you know, they play the right way. So, I mean, obviously there's been a, a big investment in this defense, and, and you can see the benefits of it. So, uh, you know, they're – you know, it's it starts up front just like any good defense. You know, they they got really good anchors inside. Kenny Clark's you know another mainstay there. That's a very very good player. Dean Lowry, you know, high high effort and so forth. So you know, press the press them coming off the edge. So you know, lo losing Gary is is it will be a little bit of a blow for them. But you know, Campbell coming back, you know, that will definitely be an asset for their front seven. And you know, and the thing about their secondary, they all can run. I mean, you look at the speed and and they got they have good ball skills too. And I think it shows up in their competitive. They jump, they're real aggressive on routes and things like that. So this this is a very good defense. All right, we continue with more of the Mike McCarthy Show in just a moment. David Moore of the Dallas Morning News up next. The Mike McCarthy Show, presented by Reliant, is brought to you by AT and T, the official 5G innovation partner of the Dallas Cowboys. Ford, Ford F-Series, the best-selling truck in Texas. The University of North Texas, proud partner of the Dallas Cowboys. Miller Lite, the only beer of the Cowboys. It's Miller time. 
and by Reliant, an NRG company. Welcome back to the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy inside the Globe Life studio here at the Star. Now Bill Jones joined by David Moore of the Dallas Morning News, SportsDayDFW.com. I know that this is a game on the uh, schedule that the McCarthy family had to circle when the schedule came out. Uh, how much uh, do the players in that locker room look at this game as, a, as a sort of a win-one for the Gipper mentality in there? Uh, a few of the players have talked about that. They kind of they want to get this win for Mike. They know how much it'll mean to him. You know, I, I think he's had to straddle a, a fine line the, the week leading up to the game because – uh, his time in Green Bay is clearly a, a big part of his heart uh, is there. He was there for nearly 13 years. But you can't really stroll down memory lane too much uh, because that's disrespectful to what he has in place here, right? And this is a 6-2 and two team uh, coming off a bye uh, that's still chasing and has a chance to win the division here and is looking for playoff positioning. And, and he wants to share them, you know, look, this is a chapter that meant very much to me in the past, but – I'm with you guys now. We're going forward. We're making those memories. And, and I think he got that across to them really in, in their first meeting they, back from the bye week. All right. Uh, what do you make of what's uh, going on with Aaron Rodgers this season? And he's approaching his 39th birthday uh, next yeah. month. Uh, but coming off a, a couple of uh, MVP seasons, and now it's a very ordinary Aaron Rodgers this year. Yeah, very different uh, outcome from what we're used to with, with Aaron Rodgers. Um, you know, he, he's had a thumb issue. He hurt the thumb, his right thumb, on his throwing hand earlier this year. Uh, he did not practice on the Wednesday before the, heading into the game uh, on Sunday against uh, the Cowboys. But to me, it's not just about him. And I know Cowboy fans will look at him and go, well, okay, he's going to be fine against Dallas because he's 7-1, and one, you know, over the last eight games. But that Aaron Rodgers had a lot of healthier, better weapons around him than this one does. Uh, this Packers team is really beat up, and he does not have a lot in the in the passing game. They knew they were going to be shorthanded there after Devontae Adams, that trade. Uh, but the moves they've made and haven't made and the injuries they've had have really put them in a precarious position there. And it really is getting close to must-win territory for the Packers when you look at their season with a 3-6 and six record. All right, you going to take Mike McCarthy way to Lambeau Field on Sunday? The better question is, will Mike McCarthy take Mike McCarthy's <laughs> way to Lambeau Field? It's a little bit out of the way, but not enough. Uh, asked him that the other day if he was going to walk down uh, Mike McCarthy way, and he said, no, nah, but he does drive by on occasion just to make sure the sign's still up. You've been, you've been there a half dozen times in yeah. your career. Uh, how, how special a place is Lambeau? It really is, especially in the fall, and this will be good crisp weather. It should be right around uh, freezing at kickoff, maybe a little more, but by the time the game is done, it should be under freezing. Um, it, it is a special place because it's in a community. It's, it's an NFL atmosphere dropped into a community, and you see that in Buffalo a little bit, but really no place else, and, and frankly, Buffalo just doesn't have the rich tradition that, that the Packers do in Green Bay. It should be fun on Sunday. Thank you very much, David Moore. And the Mike McCarthy Show continues in just a moment. This segment is brought to you by Blockchain.com. Trusted by millions. Trusted by America's team. j Ron Curse, Scrum Safety. Just going against a guy that's uh, uh, well well known in this league for uh, the things he's been able to do to uh, defenses. Uh, he's a smart guy, uh, can run the ball well, can throw the ball, get outside the pocket and throw the ball good, stay inside the pocket and dot you. Uh, it's always It always presents a challenge, uh, you know, when you go against a guy that's played in the Super Bowl, won the Super Bowl, and consistently is in the, in the top conversation for uh, quarterbacks throughout the year, and uh, maybe even one of the best of all time. So uh, he's definitely a guy that brings a lot to the game uh, and makes everybody around him better. Uh, we have to continue to be sound uh, in the run game and, uh, you know, when we're covering, having uh, the right leverage and, and understand what we're saying because he's listening to everything that's being said and uh, he's, he's using it uh, for that next play or that next drive. Uh, you, know, you know, whether they struggle or not, uh, Aaron Rodgers is just a guy that you can never count out. 
And uh, we just have to continue to go into this game and understand who we're going up against and not look at that three and six record as something that we can less and slip off and just slap. Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, from the from the first day we got in here, uh, you know, when Q got in last year, just the first meeting we had in that off season, you can just kind of tell the type of guy that he was because he showed that he he's been the same guy from that point to now, and uh, you know it just rubs off on a lot of on a lot of us because you know it, it makes you want to want to want to fight for a guy like uh, Coach Q, and uh, whether you're new coming in or you you've been around him with in Atlanta or however it goes, uh, you just know the type of guy he is. He's a very genuine guy, and. Uh, it's not much not to like about him. So when you go on the field and he puts you in, he trusts you, he has confidence in you, you know, you just want to go hard for him. So what do J. Ron Curse and the Dallas Defenders have in store on Sunday? Will McClay is here. We got Telestrator out, and uh, we're going to take a look at, uh, let's, how about we start with Aaron Rodgers? What we'll better place to start? What better place to start? <laughs> the guy that, you know, kind of does everything for them. Uh, we're going to look at it here and just talk about his ability. They're really an RPO offense, a lot of run-pass options. He's always trying to find the right place to go with the ball. Here, it's a run-pass option off the linebacker. Just want to show it really quick again. He's reading the linebacker. The linebacker's right, make, throws a dart without even setting his feet. Okay, and uh, showing his athleticism, he's a guy that has extended plays throughout his career. He turns 39 uh, early next month. He can still get around. 39 is the new 19. Then. <laughs> We're going to look at him right here. They've been talking about their offense and receivers and struggling and all that. This is a third down play here. Everybody's covered. It's third down and 10. Uh, and we're going to look at his athleticism here. He drops back in the pocket. They've got him in. He's great at finding windows, keeping his eyes up. Everybody's covered green grass. There we go. First down. 16-yard pickup. Okay, now this is a play that I had Will show me several times because I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Go ahead. You want to talk about arm strength and the ability to make all the throws, and we talk about quarterbacks and set up and feet. He throws all that out of the way with his accuracy and his arm strength. All right, here we go. He's going to get pressure in his face. All right, now he there's nowhere to throw the ball. He slides, keeping his eyes up. And he throws the ball. We talk about tight windows. He throws a strike in between four defenders, as only Aaron Rodgers can do. Aaron Jones is a guy who's a fifth-round draft pick out of UTEP and has really had a terrific career so far. Made the Pro Bowl a couple of years ago. Averaging 5.6 yards a carry. Um, a consistent in this offense because he's a great running back with vision, feel. And we're going to watch him here go through the hole start the action, then he gets skinny, and his ability to burst and get to the second level, split two, and get him big chunks of yards in the run game. All right, they're one of the top defenses in the league, and it starts up front with big Kenny Clark. Kenny Clark, you can't run the ball. It starts with running the ball. He controls the middle. We're going to look at him here, and they're going to double team him, all right, and, and try and climb, but he's going to control the gap. We'll see it here. They're like, uh, uh, they're trying to figure out how to want to run away from him, but they run right at him and he makes them pay. Here you go right here, double team, stacking the point, using his arm, gap and a half, comes back, makes a play. Really good job by him there. Number two pass defense in the league this year, and Jair Alexander's got three picks. Yes, and I'll show you why here. They're playing the coverage here. He's reading the routes, and the quarterback scrambles out, but we want to look at his closing speed. He's on top of the route. The receiver's got the lead. The quarterback scrambles out, anticipates, drive on the ball. Big play for them against the Bears. Yes, some of the big playmakers for the Green Bay Packers. Our thanks to Will McClay, and the coach rejoins us in just a moment here on the Mike McCarthy Show. This segment was brought to you by Blockchain.com. Trusted by millions. Trusted by America's team. This segment is brought to you by Winstar World Casino and Resort, the casino of the Dallas Cowboys. Welcome back to the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy. Bill Jones along with Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy. Cowboys and the Packers in Green Bay. Coach, let's uh, talk about a guy who's been special to you in your career. You've been special to him in his career, and that's Aaron Rodgers. He had some very nice things to say about uh, your relationship here uh, in the Packers locker room uh, this week. And it, it really seems like with him, 
he appreciates you even more now than, uh, than even when y'all were together. It's like uh, time has passed and he has a great gratitude for what you have done, did for him in his career. Yeah, definitely. I uh, obviously have big love for Aaron. Um, spent a lot of time together. You know, I, it was, you know, like when I had time to reflect back on it, look at him coming out of Cal Berkeley, you know, have a chance to go out and watch him work out. I think he was only 20, 20 years old at the time. So um, just we, we spent a tremendous amount of time together and, and that's and that's normal for you know the play caller head coach and quarterback to do that so and we went through a lot you know I, I think you know you look at his introduction and, and you know one of his first you know opportunities was against Dallas in, in 07 on that Thursday night game and you know and then you look you know what happened after you know Brett retiring and that whole scenario and so we went through a lot together you know went through a lot together and spent a lot of time together and um, you know just like we're doing with Dak here I mean the quarterback is the focal point and the offense runs through the quarterback, and, and obviously he is tremendous, you know, at, with that. And um, you know, I think he's clearly one of the, the premier professional athletes of his generation. You know, so uh, he's a dangerous, dangerous quarterback. So how big of a challenge now is it being on the other side? Well, I'm I'm, th I'm, I'm very thankful for the bye week on a, on a number of fronts, and <laughs> and one of them was just to sit down and watch watch the Green Bay film, but you know, was just to spend more time on that side of the ball. So I had. A, Chance to watch him a lot over the bye. You know, he's, he's still playing at a very high level. Uh, you know, he just does he does so many of the little things, you know, that, that really don't sh even show up on a coach's tape. And that, I think it's so beneficial to watch games live. And I think TV does a tremendous job of what they capture now, you know, and, and, and with, with the video and the audio. So, um, you know, at the line of scrimmage, where he challenges with the cadence and the free plays and, you know, you know it's your substitution pattern. So it's all the little things. I mean, his... His application of information at the line of scrimmage is, is uh, extraordinary. So, I mean, he's, he's a big challenge. I, I want to ask you about your safeties. He's done a great job for you with, and, and a couple have missed a, a game, and you got another one that can uh, fill in. J. Ron Curse, a big game last week against uh, Chicago. Malik Hooker, what he's done. Donovan Wilson as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you talk about some pros now. I mean, you know, you know, you've already talked about how they play, but, you know, you look at the preparation and just the communication during the week and, um, their their level of understanding of the defense, the you know the communication, the connection, extremely extremely high, and you know we're, and we're so fortunate to have three safeties like that. So um, they're all they're all diverse. Um, they they can play you know up and back. You know can be utilized in matchups, you know, impact and pressure. So very fortunate to have those three guys. All right, we we'll wrap up the Mike McCarthy Show in just a moment. This segment was brought to you by WinStar World Casino and Resort the casino of the Dallas Cowboys. Final couple of minutes here of the Mike McCarthy Show, powered by Reliant Energy. Time for the unsung star of the week. I'm going to your coaching staff this week. It's a special guy I know Excellent. for you. Yes, and uh, that would be one Al Harris. A member of the Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame. Of course, you coached him at Green Bay. He's now on your staff as a defensive backs coach. And uh, he is a special guy. And the job he's doing uh, with guys in your secondary has been uh, pretty remarkable, too. Oh, definitely. I mean, Al brings so much to the table. I mean, going back to his, his playing days, I mean, you talk about a tough, competitive corner, uh, bump and run every snap. I mean, it, 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 you know, and to have him now teaching your, 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 you know, your defensive backs, your corners, um, it, to me, it was a no-brainer. Uh, it was great to, to bring him aboard, and he's done a tremendous job. So, obviously, very proud of him. And as you said, Hall of Fame. Uh, just, just, just his play style is is something. If you can emulate that and, and carry that over, and obviously the technique, and because he's a true technician, um, you know, as as a DB coach, and particularly in the bump and run, so he does a great job. What effect has he had on Trayvon? Oh, I think he's definitely. I mean, you just look at the relationship. I think it, you know, it, it, it always. That always leads the way. So, you know, they have a very strong connection and, you know, and, and you can see, you know, once again, I, I think it's important for players to have that. You know, it's a, it's a, and it's something, I'm, frankly, I'm very conscientious of because, you know, I obviously didn't play defensive back. <laughs> but, uh, no, I just, you get those those type of people that, that can bring that, that, that detailed experience is so beneficial for your players. And, and Al is a great example of that. All right. Have a great trip to Green Bay. Bundle up. Yep, uh, there we go. It'll be, go. It'll be freezing go in it. Green Bay. And uh, we'll be back here for another edition of the Mike McCarthy Show next week when the Cowboys take on the Minnesota Vikings. The Mike McCarthy Show, presented by Reliant, was brought to you by Blockchain.com. Trusted by millions. Trusted 
by America's team. Ford, Ford F-Series, the best-selling truck in Texas. Bank of America, the official bank of the Dallas Cowboys. Miller Lite, the only beer of the Cowboys. It's Miller time. And by NFL Game Pass. You'll never miss a game again. Enjoy full and condensed game replays from week one to the Super Bowl.